Hi, I'm Dr. Ada Wells. Welcome to ProBalance. I am a physical therapist and certified Pilates teacher. And what we're going to talk about today is you know, ways that you can take very simple things you have at home and really utilizing them to get a pretty good workout. So today's focus is actually going to be using a towel. Now, this is a fancy towel called a Fletcher towel, named after Ron Fletcher, who was um, what we call the Pilates elder. He learned um, Pilates from Joseph Pilates and Clara Pilates back in, um, back in, the, back in the olden days. Um, but he did bring it to Hollywood and um, brought his own um, form of, of Pilates to the West Coast. And one of the greatest gifts he gave was actually working with it with a towel. And why I love the towel so much is that nothing organizes the body in as good a way I found as just taking a towel and pulling in a certain way. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you a few little simple things you can do with a towel. And once again, you don't need this fancy red towel. You can take a regular towel. I would say one that's about 36 inches long. And actually, sometimes if you ideally hold it at the diagonal, it has a little bit of pull, a little bit of give to it. I love a towel as opposed to just a plain old yoga strap because the yoga strap doesn't have any give, and a resistance band is a little bit too, it's a little too squishy. So we want to make sure we do literally have a towel. Okay. So once you have your towel, what you're going to do is we're going to do a couple of just very basic uh, movements, but we want to make sure we have it at the right width for um, for the body. So if you take your towel and you just hold it in half. You can now measure from one end of your shoulder to the other, okay? And you can see where I'm holding mine. That essentially is now, if I've just measured the width of my shoulder, okay? Now, if I just go ahead and hold now at those two ends, this is essentially twice the width of my shoulder. For most people, this distance is really a nice, happy place for the shoulder girdle. And, um, and not, it, it moves in a much more natural way than sometimes if you're just going straight up. So I like to kind of start with that um, in that in that particular orientation. Now, secondly, when you go to hold the towel, a couple important things. One is make sure you're holding the towel with all of your fingers. Okay, if there's pinky fingers, what tends to happen is people end up tending they, they, they tend to pull and you overuse some of the muscles in the front and some of their shoulder um, elevators here. So they wonder why their shoulders are getting really tired. And um, yes, your arms will get tired doing some of this work but we don't want it coming from the upper part of the back. We're going to be working with some of the lower shoulder girdle. So make sure when you have that, um, you're holding onto your towel, you grip from the pinky side of your arm. And thinking about, um, the other thing is if I'm pulling, noting that how neutral I am here. I always like to say if I was going to punch a wall, I'm going to punch it like this. I'm not going to punch it like that. So why would I hold something in a weak position? If I hold it weak, I'm going to be working a lot harder. If I'm holding strong, I'm now really utilizing the power that I have. Okay, so here's just a few little little movements we can do. So the first one is just taking the towel and just pulling it taut, just at the just down at your hips, just pull it taut and release. And you can just do that a few times. And, and this is done when it's done um, in the Fletcher towel work method. They integrate breath with every movement. We're just going to do just this is inspired by Fletcher work. This isn't um, true Fletcher work. All right. Now, we can also bring the towel up to the middle part of the back, or the, sorry, the middle part of the chest, and give that same pull. So remember, we're pulling from the pinky sides, and it's almost like you're trying to break this towel in half as you're pulling. Will you feel a little fatigue? You might. Um, should you feel pain? No. Okay? Now, we can take the arm, bring it up overhead. Let's do our little pulls from there. And now, this is where we want to be really mindful of where the rest of the body is. As you're pulling overhead, we want to think about, did my ribs just jut out forward, or are they staying stacked right over the pelvis? If we're keeping them stacked over the pelvis and we're just pulling up there, that's going to give us a little bit more. Um, we're already working your abs without me telling you, tighten your abs. All right, we can bring it back down. So just doing those little towel pulls is really a nice way um, just to get you kind of aware of where your posture is and to start actually working the shoulders in, in the shoulder girdle in a way that's going to be helpful. Okay. Now, let's go ahead and take your band, or take your band, take your towel, place it behind your back. And now from here, you're going to have your elbows bent just a little bit. Pulling on the towel just a touch, you're going to reach your arms back behind you. So now, we're actually working, once again, you're keeping those ribs stacked right over the pelvis. The elbow's slightly bent, but I'm pulling on that towel. So when I'm doing that, it's actually an active, I'm not just passively bringing the arm back there. 
it's essentially an active stretch for the front of the body. I can pulse back here, and this is going to give us a little bit of endurance. And once again, when done with some breath patterns, it's really fantastic. Okay? And we'll bring this back. All right. The last little thing I'm going to show you is really a, a fantastic thing you can do for, once again, working on shoulder awareness, shoulder girdle. It's great for posture using the towel. And that's actually holding your towel so it's the same width as your waist, okay, or as your body. And so that way, when you're, when you're pulling it and you're moving your arms up and down, um, everything is pretty, is pretty much in a straight line, okay? Now, all we're going to do is we're going to start to float the arms away from the body, okay? But as I'm doing that, I want you guys to notice that my elbows are staying in. So you're going to try to get your arms up as high as they can go, but keeping those elbows directed in. If you start flying the elbows out to the side, you have lost the entire point of the exercise. You have now disconnected from your center. So you've got to keep those elbows in, and you're going to just pump it all the way up and all the way down. And just for a little added bonus, if you just take it out a little wider, finding your W position here and doing the same thing, same rules. Elbows stay in as you bring the arms up overhead. Once again, you're going to feel your butt and your abs turn on without me telling you, and it's going to really just place the entire body um, in a position that's um, just ideal for it to work. And once again, we're asking the body to turn on without necessarily adding an artificial sort of verbal cue to it. It's naturally doing what it should be doing. So there's certainly full routines we can be doing with the towel. But those little movements there, you know, if you do repetitive uh, movements, just make sure that you're always paying attention if there's any discomfort um, or if you have a little bit of shoulder impingement or some other um, issue where maybe you've got a neck issue. This might not be appropriate for you um, and you would need some modifications. Definitely talk to your health care provider before doing any exercise program. But otherwise, um, you've got a towel at home. Give it a try. All right, we'll see you next time.